If you are planting a garden with permaculture principles, or just want to keep bugs from munching on your vegetables, you need to know how to keep pests out of your garden and keep them from destroying your crops. Try one or more of these tactics to protect your crops while growing in permaculture style. The more techniques you use, the better your pest prevention methods will be. 1. Grow plants that repel pests. Whether you want to keep mosquitoes out of your yard or harmful pests out of your vegetable garden, there are natural ways to repel bugs that don't involve citronella candles or pesticides. For an environmentally friendly DIY pest solution, try growing one or more insect repelling plants. Many herbs, vegetables, and flowers have strong aromas that make them wonderful companion plants for natural pest control. 2. Use herbs as pest repellents. There are many herbs that are known to repel garden pests, mostly because of their strong aroma. They can also attract beneficial bugs as well. Many will grow in the fall if you live in the southeast, and they can be used to add flavor to the vegetables you grow. Some herbs to consider planting in your fall garden include. Basil, repels mosquitoes, flies and hornworms. Mint, repels ants and cabbage moths. Sage, repels cabbage moth and carrot flies. Rosemary, repels cabbage moth, carrot flies and mosquitoes. Oregano, repels cabbage moth. 3. Bury garlic around your garden. Garlic is one of the most popular companion plants. It can be grown next to most plants as a natural pest and fungus deterrent. It takes up little space, is not fussy about soil and can grow in most conditions. I am sure that its pungent flavor is what convinces people that it keeps pests and diseases away. If it keeps vampires away, surely a few bugs are not a problem for it. Garlic gets along with most plants, but it should not be grown near asparagus, peas, beans, sage, parsley and strawberries, because it will stunt their growth. 4. Use citrus peels. Using orange peel to deter pests is a surprisingly simple way to achieve a healthy garden. Oranges are well known for offering a healthy boost of vitamin C, but their goodness extends far beyond the human body. Experts recommend putting this fruity favorite, or rather, the remains of this fruit, to good use in the garden, where you can use your leftover orange peel to keep pests at bay. Orange peels are great for your garden, as they can help to add nutrients to your soil, aiding in the growth and maintenance of your plants. 5. Use worm castings. Vermicast, also called worm castings, worm humus, worm manure, or worm feces, is the end product of the breakdown of organic matter by earthworms. These castings have been shown to contain reduced levels of contaminants and a higher saturation of nutrients than the organic materials before vermicomposting. 6. Try companion planting. There are also other vegetables that can be used as companion plants. Consider adding the veggies below to fill out your fall garden. Radish. Many people grow radishes in their fall garden to add to hearty winter dishes, but it's also a great companion plant for another fall vegetable. Radish draws leaf miners away from spinach so they won't devour the root system. Leaf miners may still chew on some of the spinach leaves, but the radish can prevent the spinach from being destroyed. Chives. This aromatic onion relative can protect a number of fall garden vegetables. They are able to deter aphids that feed on lettuce and other leafy greens. Onions. Onions, in general, are a common companion plant because they mask the smell of other vegetables. During the fall plant them around carrots to protect against carrot root maggot flies. 7. Store seeds in the fridge. Storing seeds is a great way to save money, and keep them as long as possible. Pests are always looking for a free meal, whether it's your grain storage or your seed storage. Stashing seeds in the freezer for three days should kill off any insect larva. Bugs also need air to breath, so if you use an airtight container and vacuum seal it, they won't survive long. Adding oxygen absorbers is another option if you don't have a vacuum sealer. Use rodent-resistant containers like mason jars, metal cans, or heavy-duty plastic, 